it's no surprise, but I did not enjoy the book. It took me two weeks or more than that to read the book because not only have I been really busy, but I just did not want to read it. I thought, you know, I did not read it for days. I just was not into it. I had other stuff to do. It wasn't sort of like a priority. But I had to read it to get it finished. It was just dull and boring and the plot was so slow and ugh. But the only exciting bit was when they got chucked in the river. Um, which isn't even near the, she's sort of written near the end, but it's like, yeah. It's so boring. I don't know what it's by. The only exciting bit is when two people got chucked in a river um, and have to, and um, Laura has to untie herself and David is like, oh, right. Well, that's fun. Um, but then, because I'm an idiot, I looked up the reviews for Spells, which is the second book in the series. And, to be honest, I might read it because I'm insane. I might actually give Spells a go. Because Spells uh, does actually sound quite a bit better. You get to go to Avalon. Which I, I was like, I want to go to Avalon. It sounds so cool. And it does actually sound pretty good. Um, I'll read a review. Um, it was five stars. Basically, um... I just found it very... Just, I just think I may actually read spells, just to see what I think. But I pray David dies some horrible death or something. Another thing, um, Laurel is kind of cheating on both Tamani and David. She loves them both. It's like... It's like okay! Do a double date. Yeah. Oh, you just got to watch me here eating a crunchy now. Yeah. <coughs> so I just a really weird laugh and I'm like an evil duck. So um book I started yesterday was the uh, oh you can hardly read that. Uh, so Sega of Lost and Bretley by Darren Shan, it's the first book, Birth of a Killer. Very excited to start this because I love the Crepsley. I thought I I don't know, I feel more comfortable calling him Crepsley. Um, so yes, I uh, love Pripsley and Darren Shan. I really like the Sega of Darren Shan up until the last book. The last book was a bit of a letdown. I was like, it didn't really happen. Well, it does happen, but now it's again. I was like, right. <laughs> That's just perfect. Mm. Okay. Oh. Um. I think that that's pretty much it. Um, so yes, wings. Honestly, I would not recommend it. Um, I seriously would not, but by all means, it has got good reviews. People do enjoy this book, so I recommend just simply reading it for yourself. You know, um, this is purely my opinion. I do not dictate yours, so you should. Um, try reading it um but by all means it is slow it was you know it was slow and it was dull for me and um generally not a thrilling read but i know other people will love it and other people do and it's a best selling book and you know not everybody loves the best sellers just because the best sellers doesn't mean they're ever cup of tea so that that's pretty much all i have to say um i wouldn't recommend it but if you want to give it a go i'm not going to stop you just just be prepared for slowness and dumbness and coody characters. When the only interesting character, Tamani, appears for three scenes. Seriously, he appears. Uh, I don't remember when he first appeared. I was like, "Oh, this is getting good!" And then suddenly, chapter after chapter, where is Tamani? Oh, he's starting to get. Oh, this is getting good, isn't he? What? Where is he? And then he goes, you know, lots of times reminding him, but it's like, I do not want to read about David and his attractiveness or. You talk, or I don't want to read about Larissa talking with um, Chelsea at a picnic of boys. No, I do not want to read about your romantic interests. I want to read about fairies. You know, I thought the concept sounds so cool. I want my other stuff to be like, oh my gosh, this sounds really awesome. No. So I've decided that I'm probably going to start Wicked Lovely. I was um a couple of adverts at the back of the book for it. Um, it was wicked lovely. A 
sick sick book for it. And then just to torture me, in Roman time, not we're also in I was like Torture me, why don't you? Oh, Ingo, I love it. Um, and I realised on my um MP3 player, where it says uh, Philips Go Gear, which I got for thirty-five pounds, and was one of the, one of the last ones. Um, before the new edition going, from Net and Blue. I realised that um, I've got. A song on here, which is the song from Ingo of Peggy Gordon. So, by all means, I'm very happy about that. But there's just one thing: it's so slow. It's not exactly the most thrilling song. So, if Ingo ever gets made in the film, I want to see a really nice rendition of it. And Ingo should be made into a film. It's a stunning series. It's a beautiful, beautiful. Um, series, um, and even though perhaps you don't enjoy the characters, the world that's created, the writing style, just draws you in, and Inga's just such an enjoyable place to be when you're reading the books, um, and think, I wish I really could be in this place, and then you'll go and try and drown yourself in the sea, because you have to have a burning sensation in your chest to enter and go, and that's when you're drowning. <laughs> um, so yeah. It's not because I but I miss it through Ingo. You were drowning now, stop it. Um, yes, I do have an addiction for my books, and I just need more of them. Um, the trouble is, people, are like, there's like tons of siren books being published now, and they all call themselves my books. Okay, a siren is a bird with a woman's head that looks hideous. A mermaid is the one with the fish tail. Merfolk. Mermaids. I must call it a voice barrel or, well, throat sand in face. Okay, so, um, anyway, uh, thank you for watching this, um, I don't really realize how long it will be, um, in future I may record, uh, videos on my camera, um, I haven't got a tripod or anything, so I have, so I've got to find some way of propping my camera up, maybe I'll have to do it downstairs in fruit bowl. I put my camera up on the football downstairs when nobody's here. Um, I, again, uh, this video was hardly scripted at all. Um, hardly scripted. Um, I probably will be scripting my videos in future, but the fact is, this video actually went reasonably well. I'm very pleased with it. So, um, saying, oh, and the reason I've been staring like this because I've got my um, <laughs> um, video thing over on the right hand side of my laptop because I've got my notes up which haven't taken up an awful lot of word um so yes uh, it's honestly great great to be back and um yes it is a bit late what's the time oh we can go to us in the so I'll probably be uploading my videos over the course of the next few days so you will have watched the intro and then be like you're talking about stuff you've already done. Shut up. Okay, so yes, I will shut up for your sake now and let you get back to whatever you were doing. Um, if you've got GCSE, AS or A2 results, this shows that I wish you all the best of luck. You know, um, if it goes to pot, don't worry. My January results last year were awful and I reset them. Hope it's gone well this time, but really, honestly, don't worry. I um, practically got used. And, um, yeah, I, I really, you know, there's always resits, um, just, well, I can't, it's always, you know, you just got to get the exam technique down. I mean, I knew all the stuff, but my exam technique was not right. And back then, hopefully it's now, it really says it is, but I still have so little self-confidence in myself. So, yes, um, good luck to you all, and don't stop anything else, I just, yeah, just open them at home. Or you might cry like I did in public. Okay, so bye!